Now we are going to find out, not through the speaker, but for yourself, as a human being, representing all humanity, you are going to find out whether there is a possibility of not recording at all. And therefore, breaking down the conditioning. You understood? From childhood, through the parents, through all the environment of society and so on, we are being hurt. Right? You are hurt from childhood. Aren't you? Hmm? You have got many hurts, psychologically. That hurt is brought about through the image that you have about yourself. Obviously. Right? May I go on? Will you? Are you sharing this? You have an image about yourself, haven't you? You are marvellous or not marvellous, or you are this, you are very sensitive, you are most extraordinary, you have got more intelligence than somebody else, or that you are very near God, you know, all that built. Hmm? So you have got an image about yourself. And that image is constantly being hurt from childhood, psychologically which affects biologically, which is psychosomatic. Now, when there is that hurt, you are withdrawing, isolating, resisting. Therefore, that resistance, that isolation, that hurt, strengthens the conditioning. Right? You want? And being strengthened, you act neurotically. Because you feel you are terribly sensitive. Hmm? Because you have built a wall around yourself. And you withdraw with any remark, any insult, any fl flattery is the same as insult. They are two sides of the same coin. So, as long as you have that hurt, as long as you, there is that feeling of isolating yourself, resisting, the strengthening process of conditioning goes on. And you act from that hurt, from that resistance, from that isolation, neurotically. Right? Now, is it possible not to be hurt, which is not to register the insult? You understand? Are you meeting me? Huh? You insult me or flatter me. Some people have insulted me, but most people have flattered me, unfortunately and not to register either. Is that possible? You understand my question? Now you are watching yourself, that is, you are watching through the words I am using, the speaker is using, watching through those words yourself as a human being. Not a human being somewhere else, but actually sitting there in front of us, watching himself, 
He knows the hurts. He knows, he is aware that he is isolating process of that hurt because he doesn't want to be hurt more. Therefore there is resistance, there is isolation, and from that isolation there is activity, logical, illogical, stupid, and all the rest of it. And that activity strengthens him more and more, that hurt, that re- wall. Now we are asking, is it possible when that insult or flattery is made not to register it? Bearing in mind that the brain is is trained, accustomed, educated, to register. You got the picture? Are you working as hard as the speaker is working? I hope you are. How do you answer this question? I have put forward, the speaker has put forward a question which is, is it possible not to register when the hurt or the flattery is made? Now how do you answer that question? How do you listen to that question? You. How do you listen to it? Is it an idea? Or is it a fact? You understand? Do you draw a conclusion from what you have heard? Or do you actually observe the hurt, the activity of that hurt, and ask yourself, if it is at all possible not to receive any hurt at all, and therefore not register the hurt, not to register the word, the implication of the word, which means that you have no... that image is getting hurt, because the image is you. You understand all this? All right, sir. Because if I, if the brain is capable of not registering, except physiologically, then it has quite a different movement, quite a different activity, quite a different energy. I insult you. I hope I don't, but suppose I do. Can you listen to the insult, the word, the meaning, and the desire to hurt you, all the implications, listen to it completely and not the brain take in? I'll show you how to do it, and not how, what, how, how it operates. <laughs> 